say that. We're but jumping right into this. Uh, Team they, New England. They didn't strike anything. That's okay. It's Team New England, of course, light with his fox, with Mars, with his Ike, actually. This is his other character that he has on CSS. He's been playing Ike since pretty much the game dropped. He always saw the potential in this character. Going up against Kevaros and Business Goldfish playing Toon Link, a pretty uncommon character compared to how good the other two Links are in this game, actually. And Dark Pit for Goldfish. Interesting. All right. So the thing is, I, I, Mar, Mar is liking the Ike in doubles is what I've seen, uh, mostly because the damage that he can land. The mobility Ike has is still kind of OK. Um, just make sure you just don't get hit, and you don't have to worry about that recovery scenario that Ike doesn't have to do. We did see that Ike um, last round um, one before, but unfortunately those were taking a little uh, stocks a couple early. But really, Ike is going for uh, this time around. He's just going to get comboed a bit by Dark Pit, and like trying to go and fish for that up smash, and I think he quite does get that against Kevin Rose. Yeah. That's the thing with Ike, man. I mean, you see Ike in singles, who is already a pretty good character in singles for sure. What with that neutral air being such a huge, spammable, safe option. And his up air as, uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, Business Goldfish is going to lose his first, his first stock right there. But in doubles, that Ike can be an entirely different beast because those hitboxes, when he's just swinging them around like that, especially on like smaller certain stages with all like the cluster balls of dumps that's happening, so you're, you're going to find yourself getting hit by Ike a lot more than you really would in singles. Speaking about that, I like the situational awareness uh, that Marsh just had. He saw his um, teammate getting thrown, and then the other uh, teammate of his charging in a smash attack. Then Marsh just jumped over it and was like, let me just end this right now, prevent the setup in the first place, because what's back throw going to do as to like, not really much, uh, especially at that part of the stage. Light dropping his first stock right there, the back throw. Mars hanging pretty at uh, 150. No, but the Toon Link back throw is going to do it, and the stocks are even out, but absolutely not the percents, ladies and gentlemen. Both uh, Business Goldfish and Kev Aros almost in the hundreds right there. And never mind, Kev Aros is going to lose his second stock right there, securing an even bigger lead for the red team right there. But Blue Team gains a little bit of stage control in the meantime. Let's see how Mars is going to be able to get in and around that. He does so far, he does with a Nair to an up air, the he, classic. He did sneak in with that side B, which does give him a lot of drift and a bit of a leeway to get in, then suddenly you recover coming with that jump there to just maintain a bit of pressure that he has. Right now now Red Team has complete stage control, and you can see immediately that Light's just looking and fishing for these. He gets these Nair combos going in for a bit, just going on business goldfish like it's his day job. Yeah, my man Light is absolutely he's gold fishing right now. That's what he's that's what he's doing right now. And so far it's been working out for him. There's already a lot of damage tacked onto um uh, tacked on to both players of the blue team on their final stock. Red is looking very secure to be able to take this game, but hey, with doubles, you never know. If Light loses the stock right now, or if somehow Mars gets gimped or something, the ether's too far off the level or something, and he has to share the stock, all of a sudden the game can turn even relatively quickly, but it's looking like that's not... It's looking like the red team is just not letting that happen right now, just juggling business goldfish like it's his, like it's, it's his bar mitzvah, man. All right, Kevin Rose trying to go uh, this 1v1 against Mars, but this health deficit's way too much, like, especially against a character like Ike. And unfortunately, that was a, that looks like it was a team kill. He tried to go for the back air, hit both Light and his teammate and taking that out. Tulink has to do <laughs> all Ooh, this work here, but yeah. that foul smash is just going to end that career right in its face. Yes, Light with that character knowledge right there. His up smash does, in fact, go through the platforms on Pokemon Stadium. And that was PS2, I believe, right? Yeah. That is the one compared to PS1, and because PS1... Uh, has some differences, the platforms are lower. They're actually a little lower, and a lot of up tilts actually go through uh, those platforms as well. But on that stage, that's when they're higher, and Fox's up smash is still able to reach through it, thus it's preventing like even more landing options. But we have Fox the immediate two uh, bands on here, Yoshi's Island and Smashville. So we're going to see what exactly they're going to go for. They're going to go right to Unova. All right, you that know is my that. favorite Pokemon region. <laughs> Everyone hates it. But yeah. I like it because it is basically New York. <laughs> well, I bet you're happy that's a legal stage then. Yes, yeah. very. Legal stage among the smallest in terms of blast zones, I believe, out of all the legal stages we have. Horizontally, I'm not sure if that's the case. Vertically, it has the lowest blast zones for sure. I know that. Horizontally, it might actually still be Smashville or Town and City. They both have really tiny ones, both of the Animal Crossing stages. But regardless, that is not where we're headed. We're taking a trip to the Big Apple right now, New York City in Unova. I mean, we can say New York City, and there's this, like, giant castle in the mountain. Yeah, that's totally Central Park, you know? It looks more like India. <laughs> that looks like it, because that looks like the Taj Mahal, or, or a little bit in the back, something like that. But anyway, we're running it off to Unova. Smallest stage, you're going to be seeing stocks die relatively early with uh, Light, of course, able to juggle really well with his up air and catching kills with his up smash as well. And Ike, of course, just having a strong hitbox and literally everything. 
This blue team is going to want to try and stay away from Mars as much as they can unless they find a good way to get in and actually juggle him and take advantage of his big body like that right there with the boomerang coming back, converting into the up smash. Because I can definitely see Ike, you know, the heavier character, the damage uh, outputter right now. Not the damage outputter, but the, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? The stock taker right there oh, as he that's, takes his that's own a teammate team kill. stock. Right there. Oh, and we Beating got a nice, tank. we got a nice blue lead here, getting both uh, Mars and uh, Light early on. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of the opposite so of what happened. One last thing game. I noticed last round was that uh, there was actually a, quite a bit of synergy between Business Goldfish um, and uh, Camaros. Like the, the fact that two of them had like juggle combos between each other, doing these like quick little back airs or up air uh, strings just to juggle them back and forth, shows that they have a de decently do some practice together or at least just team practice together. Playing oh, quite for often. sure. To even take as many stocks as they did against Mars and Light that game, these guys have got to be statics. Or maybe they're just both really good players who like were able to adapt to each other really quickly. Sometimes people just have that sort of a, that skill or awareness and dumb. And right now, my man Kev Aros is getting mixed in the side. I don't know if you saw that, uh, he definitely that, short, is. Hop, that and short hop forward air to fall. Yes, and on the other side, Ike was making sure that Business Goldfish had no intervention. He's just going to let his you know, friend watch, just watch his friend up and get comboed by Light, yeah. and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, he was stuck between a... Um, he was he was stuck between a um, he was stuck between a Mars and a hard place. <laughs> so Mars was definitely taking care of him. He was making and that's really good on Mars more than anything else. He was making sure his teammate uh, he was making sure that Kev Aros would, uh, would not be able to go in and save uh, save his teammate right there. So if anything is oh, going on him, no, is that, down that was that was quite an unfortunate string uh, over between uh, Light and Business Goldfish. Unfortunately, he side beat right onto his shield, got pushed off, and then he just got hit on the ledge with down smash as he tried to get back to it. So that is going to give the red team lead immediately. Kev Aros going a little bit thirsty with that edge guard right there, trying to catch uh, Light with that upbeat right there. But Mars is just standing on the platform all over it, knew exactly what he was going to do, and just reacted to it, back aired, and got that stock right there. And then all of a sudden, the red team is well back in a very secure lead. There isn't too much percent tacked on, uh, tacked on Mars right now. Light, of course, at a little bit more of a risk of dying. Back though. Not good. Oh, it actually is going to be able to do it right there. You saw Goldfish actually above him thinking he was going to up throw into a uh, up smash right there, but I think an up throw would have actually hit Goldfish right there. So really good on Kev Aros for knowing that a uh, knowing the more optimal throw to do in that situation. I, I, I think it was more just kind of uh, exactly... He knew it would uh, kill instead of go for the um, uh, combo, but his teammate was probably not sure of the percentage. It was like, if you go for up, I'm ready. Yeah. And there's the up B. That is shield gonna do it right there. It stocks are even in light. Actually, getting a little bit of damage tacked on him. 47 in the span of just a few seconds. If Blue's blue able to secure, an, if Blue Team is able to secure an early kill, this can immediately sway right into Blue's favor. But unfortunately, both are up. <laughs> both are in up smash percentages by light, but also up air percentages. Oh my goodness! And that was we, no, no, no Mars, Mars. Oh, Mars. All right. <laughs> you can see what lights like. Are you crazy? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Imagine if Mars died first on that one. <laughs> that, was, that is that is playing with your food right there. It's just like, oh, let me let me just accidentally SD. Mars 